The term ancient history refers to the period prior to 500 common era, that is to say, ancient literature is literature written between the years 500 before common era and 1500 common era. The focus of this course is on ancient litera Asian literature. China and India were two of the most powerful countries in ancient Asia, and the literature of these two countries will be the subject of this course. Ancient literature is frequently linked to religion, and ancient Asian literature is no exception. India's ancient literature is primarily associated with Hinduism, whereas China's ancient literature is primarily associated with Taoism and Confucianism. My first important writer is Bei Fei, is a well-known novelist and screenwriter in China. During the Cultural Revolution, he grew up in the Chinese countryside. His first literary feast is Three Sister is the most literary feast of Bei Feiyo. Manu Joseph is the deputy editor of Open Magazine and the Mumbai Viewers Chief has been a journalist for 14 years. His literary piece is what is Serious Men. And last is Yoko Ogawa's work. Western readers are familiar with her. The Diving Pool, a collection of her novellas from 1990, was published in English in 2008 to rave a game. Her literary piece is Hotel Iris. In the community, literature will help us to across time and learn about light on the planet from those who have gone before, before us. We can have a better grasp of culture and a greater appreciation for it by doing so. We learn from the ways history is documented, such as true manuscripts and oral history. In the world for millennia, the historical experience of individuals of Asian heritage have been inextricably linked. Their literature shows parallels in Asian countries, customs and traditions, as well as their philosophies of life as well as the hardships and accomplishments of their emerging nations and people. Philippine literature spans prehistory, colonial legacies, and modern times. Our Philippine literature has grown in diversity and riches in tandem with the development of our country. As a Filipinos in this country, our standards, beliefs, and values are reflected in the Philippine literature. Philippine literature involved across time, including the Spanish colonial period, the American period, the Republic period, and the contemporary period. Philippine literature encompasses a variety of literary approaches that have evolved over time. Literature exists because it has its own pulsing and heated blood causing through the Arteries and name of every organism and society. The Filipinos and their civilizations are the focus in discussion in the Philippines. Spreading and distributing literature is a simple, straightforward. This is due to the recent technical advancements, aside from the written word, books, radio, television devices like computers, help promote literature. Obtaining literary information was simple and convenient thanks to the internet. This is the tool for Filipino readers who value and aware of values, history, culture, and heritage. Uh, Philippine literature encompasses a wide range of works, the majority of which are based on traditional folk tales, social political histories, and personal experiences. Since then, such publications have promoted Filipino cultural values, narrated locals, daily challenges, and imparted a memorable lesson or two. Some of it are uh, Ibong Mandaragit story was written by Filipino writer and social activist. The writer of this piece has connections to Rizal Nalimitang here and El Filibusterismo. He described Filipinos' living condition back then. The women who had two neighbors is reading one of the most adored writers in Philippine literature in 1976. He was named National Artist of the Philippines. Because of this novel, The Woman Who Has the Two Novels, he analyzed the past impact and influence of post-war developments in the Philippines in this novel. 
men Philippine literature helps us to travel across time and learn about life and earth from those who have gone before us. We can have a better, better grasp of culture and greater appreciation for it by doing so. We learn from the ways history is documented such as truth, manuscripts, and oral history. Literature reflects humanity and the means of comprehending one another. We may learn a lot about it in someone's thoughts by listening to their voice. Literature is important because it serves a purpose and books establish a discussion in the culture that is becoming increasingly disconnected from human interaction. Reason for dissimilarities and differences. Literature is a big factor in our world today. We must know the differences between our literature, Philippine literature, and other Asians' literature. We should learn other Asian literature because this kind of literature, we can catch off their beliefs and customs as well as their tradition. Philippine literature are considered to be known by our children today because this literature is now that rich because of modernization and changes in our lifestyles. Asian and Philippine literature are have similarities by preserving our own tradition and beliefs. This can't be stopped as this literature really have an impact in our society today. Current situation of our literature and writers. At the present time, literature have a lot of changes like its forms and text of scope of our readers. The modernized literature really has an effect because of the technology that are in this current year. More competition and more people spreading fake news. This is a hard year for our writers to spread great literature. And we, as a student, must help them to spread this great literature and special. It also worldwide because I believe our literature is rich in good traditions, culture, beliefs, and stories. Our Asian literature in this current time has been widely spread across the world. Our Asian literature is now being used in different subjects here in the Philippines. Asian literature is, has been more successful, especially here in Asia because of the values and lessons in every literature piece. During the expansion of the Asian literature, they experienced different kinds of problems, especially the discrimination for us Asians that were, we were less super, superior for the rest of the world. Our Philippine literature also experienced different problems along the way before making it from where we are right now. Since our country has been occupied by many different countries and our Philippine literature has been in dangerous during those years because of a lot of literature from those countries that occupied us also shared and adapted to us and because of that our own literature is close into being